Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Singh here back from CNH Small Engine. I'm doing a another review here. Uh, this review is um, about a uh, uh, what's it called here? It's a knife. It's a uh, it's it's called a uh, gravity knife. I got it off of uh, one of my buddies online, and um, basically it's uh, it's a German made uh, knife. It's made by Bund. It has it right down in the uh, corner right here. It's a German company. These are uh, what they call a German paratrooper um, knife. I basically, um, it's basically used if you're a paratrooper or some type of person in the, in the, in the um, aviation field out there. And if you're parachuting out of the uh, plane or something like that, then um, you get stuck up in a tree and you have to uh, get yourself out of the tree in a uh, quick order for it. And uh, it basically includes your handle back here for like a keychain or uh, like string or some kind of rope in the back right here. You also have a, a pick right here to untangle some type of a knot as well too. This is this is quite uh, uh, well built right here for that. And it folds up and folds back out when when uh, need be right there for that. And uh, the other thing is uh, this thing has a three position switch right here on top of it right here. Basically right now it's in the uh, the closed locked position which means your blade will not come out. Uh, I'll, I'll move to the secondary position. Secondary position is what I call neutral position right there for it. Uh, it basically will uh, keep the blade from coming out as you see right here and uh, the blade will not go in. No, and uh, and uh, basically in order to uh, get the blade out you have to use gravity obviously that's why I call it a gravity knife. And uh, basically you hold your one hand and you have it in the neutral position like I do right now and you simply push down like so and the blade falls out. And if you want to force, or I should say, if you want to keep the blade in position, you simply rotate up like that, and the blade will stay in there. Or you can um, flip it down and back against the uh, the housing like that of the compartment for the blade, so it'll basically stay in there nice and tight. Uh, usually on these blades, they'll have like some type of number. Mine has uh, O F W. I believe that's for the uh, the manufacturer on here for as well. And it says 83, so it's manufacturing probably. 1983. These are um, high carbon uh, stainless steel, I believe. It's uh, nice and sharp on here, so you can put your finger on it. It's uh, it's very very sharp, so just uh, don't don't cut yourself on it. You gotta watch your fingers on here. And in order to just drop it back down, you just uh, slim simply um, rotate the uh, thing forward, pushing the spring mechanism against the front housing like that. And it works by gravity, and it pulls it back down inside. So it's uh, now inside there, and it's not gonna come out again. So you just Put upside down like this and that's why it's not going to come out unless you actuate the lever mechanism on here push down like that and in order to keep it in a locked position you simply rotate the uh, uh, mechanism back against the housing like so and the blade is nice and tight and in order to just pop it back in just uh, push the button in, in, in the um, just had a neutral position and then push it back down inside like that and lock it back again and um, it's nice and tight on there, so it's it's basically a good knife for um, self-defense survival. If you're gonna take something out in the woods, it's uh, well built. It's uh, it's German, so it's gonna usually be uh, of a uh, high quality to begin with, and um, stuff like that. I believe it's uh, stainless for most of the uh, metal construction on this thing, so it's a well built knife. I give it two thumbs up, and uh, these things usually retail for anywhere uh, between. 40 and up to a hundred dollars depending on where you get yours. I got mine off the internet and I think I only paid about um, 35 40 bucks for this thing uh, Other websites will have them for up to a hundred dollars in new unissued condition. That's probably about the top of the line, but um, There's really no real difference between the unissued, the, um, the new unissued condition versus the uh, the uh, used ones like these uh, basically they'll still function perfectly Anything else, the only, only um, downside is uh, it will have some uh, wear marks, you can see it on here, it will have a couple nicks, uh, basically that will be, it's about all it is right there for that, but uh, if you want to get one, you can um, usually find them on eBay or uh, one of the other various websites that sells uh, certain types of uh, knives like this, and uh, like I said before, they usually range between $40 and $100 depending on the type out there because um they actually the the, uh, the overall quality like the, like I said before in the new production ones that are unissued or the used ones like this one that was, that was basically used by somebody out there for that so if anybody has any questions uh whatnot you want to purchase one of these things 
I recommend getting one because they're a uh, really nifty item right there. I believe they are banned in the EU, so if you're in the European Union somewhere over there, you cannot uh, legally own these ones. I believe they're also banned in some states like uh, maybe California, New York, Massachusetts, something like that, because uh, some of those states are pretty shitty about certain weapons and um, bladed objects like this. So uh, check your laws in your state before you purchase one, because if you do get caught one, if you do get caught with one of these, then it's illegal in your state. You can possibly get slapped with fines or some kind of jail time. So I really don't know about your particular state, but in my state they are legal. So if anybody has any questions about something like this, questions in the comments, you can give me a call here or you can leave me a detailed message on my page and I'll answer any questions that uh, you may have. I'll see you guys.